What is up, creator? Holy cow, do I have a good one for you this time. We're gonna talk about OBS special effects, and we're talking about the StreamDPS.com website. This one is chock full of almost unlimited graphics, motion text, and banners for your live stream, all with varying levels of transparency. You will not believe the power that this website gives your ability to look super cool and fun for your viewers. This one is a winner. It's a game changer. Let's do the demo. Think of StreamDPS.com as a online tool that creates a custom URL, and inside that URL, it contains all the necessary parameters to display the graphics that you modify at the website. So the site is essentially a tool that creates this special URL that you then place into OBS as a browser source, and then it just works. But the beauty of it is that some of these graphics, I believe, are shaders and that's how you get these amazing transparencies, especially with some of the smoke effects and fire that this system provides. And it's still perfectly transparent. It's definitely not green screen. It's just mind blowing how cool it is. So what I'm gonna do now is go into streamdps.com and show you an example on how to do this and show you what's important and just explain some stuff. So let's go in there now. Here's the site. And I wanna let you know that at the top, the primary navigation, the two primary buttons that we're gonna talk about are the ones that give you all the free stuff, okay? And that's button number two and button number three. The remaining buttons to the right are all pretty much behind a paywall. I believe it's $7 a month. When you click on the button, you get a drop down, and then sometimes you'll see that there's more stuff pop up on the right. Don't worry about clicking the sub choices when you mouse on one of these main buttons here. Ignore that, it's too confusing. Just click what you see initially. If, so for example, if I click line one, the site's gonna give me graphic examples. They're all stills and they get larger when you mouse on them. They give you sort of like thumbnails that give you a summary of what the animation's going to be. So in this uh, example, I'll go over here to this, your text is here, which looks like it's an explosion behind text, yes. And that, I believe that that is a shader. I think it's a shader. It could be an animation with alpha channel, I'm not sure. The Panel on the right provides all the modifiable parameters that you can do with the graphic that I just showed you. So for example, here's where you add your text. So I'll type in get some, okay? Here's where you change the color of the text. I'll make it purple or pink. Here's where you change the font. Here's how long you change the timer in regards to when it reappears. So it's always looping. So if you want it to show up, go away, and come back after 15 seconds, you select that. This is the video vertical offset. So this is in reference from the starting point at, to at the top of the frame. So if you want the explosion to be higher up below the text, I would hit a negative 100. So it's negative 100 pixels from the top. So if I hit apply, it applies these parameters. And as you see, it's off-centered now, so that's we've got to make this text a little bit larger. So let's hit apply again so that we can see it. There we go, and now we can center it. So the width of the text changes based on the font that you're using. I believe they're Google fonts, which is cool. So this requires experimentation, but man, is it cool. Now I'm going to take the negative 100 off and just put a 1 in there just to see if I can get it to be right on the, the font itself. There we go. Perfect. I'm liking that. So the gray box down here provides even more granular effects that you can change in regards to text effect, background duration, and all these different uh, easing effects. So, you know, play with it to your heart's content. It gives you all kinds of cool stuff. But guess what? There's even more stuff you can do in regards to changing this thing. If you keep on scrolling, 
you can change the background animation itself. So instead of it having that round explosion, I'll I'll click this one here, which is like the skull thing. Okay, and as you can see, oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's too low on the text. I want to raise that skull up higher. So I'll go back over here to the video vertical effect, and I'm going to hit negative 150 pixels. Hit apply, and hopefully it raises it above. Yeah, it does, but I want it to be even higher because I want to see the mouth more. So I'm going to make it negative 200. Raise it up even more. Hit apply. Perfect. Look at that. That is so cool. I'm going to change the color of that text, but before I do that, there are text themes that you can choose. And look at them all. Some have like this three-dimensional effect going on. So what will I do? Let's hit the stream one here, I guess. Cool. Check that out. I'm going to make this black. Hit apply. Yeah, I'm digging that. The font's a little bit funky. Let's hit it. Let's make it the font that I love the most, which is Anton. Hit apply. Makes it more fat. Yes, yes, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to make this get some again because it got erased. Hit apply. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so that gives you an idea on how to make changes to all the parameters. Now, the final thing is to pay attention to what the system tells you what the dimension of the bounding box is for the browser source. And that is 1,600 wide by 1,000 high, okay? That's very important. And if you don't enter the correct dimension, then the graphic will be off-centered, it'll be weird, it'll be hard to get it right. So make sure you pay attention to that. And the gray box here that has all this weird code in it is the custom URL that the system created for you. So naturally what you have to do is hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and now we'll go into OBS. And here we have a source with a movie of space going by, which is kind of dark, which is great. And I'm going to hit the plus sign, browser, because we're creating a browser source. Type in some text here, fire skull, I'll call it. Let's see. Here we go. Hit OK. And we're going to paste that custom URL in there. And it's a long one because it contains all those parameters. And remember, in the width, it said 1,600, and the height was 1,000. Now, the custom CSS, you can just leave alone. It's really not important. Make sure that you click shut down source when not visible and refresh browser when scene becomes active. That's super duper important because when you leave the scene and then come back in to see the scene, it refreshes the browser and the animation occurs all over again. Otherwise, if you leave the scene and go back in, it won't, it won't show up because it's already occurred and you won't see it until it refreshes based on the parameter that you set which is a long time, it could be 30 seconds. So anyway, make sure you check that off, it's super important. Okay, hit okay, and let's see if it worked. There it is, yeah. Just like any other source on OBS, you can change the bounding box by clicking and holding your Alt key and making that bounding box a little bit smaller so that when I wanna make the size a little bit bigger, I let go of the Alt key and now I can drag it to the edges of the screen here and when I leave the source and come back in, okay, now it's a little bit bigger. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I can't believe that it's transparent. It's just so amazing that it's transparent against a background. Just so cool. I think the future is very bright for OBS Studio. I'm willing to bet we'll see more websites producing incredible graphics for the browser source down the road. I have something I want to show you now, and that's another video. I'm going to help show you how to set up a Facebook gaming live stream on OBS. If you're interested, follow me over there and I will see you there. Regardless, I wish you all the luck with your channel. Best wishes, stay strong, and keep fighting. Ooh.